Here is the official Mighty Omega Macro Guide. First download AutoHotKey. I will leave a link below. Choose V1.1. Open the file when it's finished. It might ask you to allow this app to make changes. Just press yes and follow what I do. After it's done, you don't need to do anything else. Just exit out. Second, you need to make sure your display settings is set to 100%. And make sure that you have Roblox language set to English, because this macro uses precise image detection. Fourth, make sure that your Roblox settings are also adjusted as they can affect the macro function. Now just download the macro from the Mighty Omega server. Keep in mind that this macro is fairly new and will require updates over time. Be sure to check this channel regularly if you will be using this daily. You can drag the file to your desktop or another folder. Now you will need a Discord server to set up your webhook. This is where your progress will be reported. Just follow what I do. Make sure you have developer mode enabled on your user settings. Copy your Discord ID and put it in the macro. These other settings are up to you, depending if you have a clipping software or not, and the rest are pretty self-explanatory. Next is, you need to make a webhook from your server settings in the integrations. You can customize the webhook however you like. Now here are the macro functions. We will start with striking power. There will be a small box with a text prompt usually explaining what you should do. This macro can detect your stamina, hunger, and fatigue, and it even has an evasive maneuvers when you are attacked. Depending on your settings, you will either stay in game, do nothing, log, or shut down. It will take a screenshot and clip or record what had occurred during your macro session. You should receive a progress report from your webhook. Let's try out striking speed, but we'll close once it's over. Make sure to follow what the text box prompt says. The treadmill is a bit tricky, but just follow me. When the macro says to put your cursor outside the machine and on the treadmill, just press K. 
Once it has asked you to pick a mode, get on the treadmill and hover your cursor over stamina or running speed, then press K. Same thing for the level, hover your cursor over a difficulty then press K one last time. It will be the same process for weight machines, just follow the text box. If you have voice chat enabled, keep in mind that it could interfere with the macro, YOLO is aware of it, so check the Discord for any update after this video. To use the durability macro, you will need a software to run multiple Roblox. I will be showing you how to download Blockstrap to allow that. Just follow what I do. You can also use Roblox Microsoft as an alternative. You will get this error if you don't have the additional things required to download it, just press yes and it will take you there. Same thing for this one, just exit it out after you are done, you don't have to open or do anything with it. Open block strap after installing and scroll down the integrations to enable multi-instances. After that, just proceed with installing. If you ever need to change your block strap settings, you can always go to your Windows search bar and look for block strap menu. You should now be able to log in to one account and play, then go to the second account and play at the same time. As always, just follow the text box. As of it right now, the durability macro does not support freshy durability. Try not to macro with one really strong account and one weak account. I forgot to mention, but go to block strap menu and fast flags. Make sure the preferred menu is the 2020 version. The miscellaneous functions, starve, starve and knock, sleep and run are general purposes to lose muscles, not disconnect from Roblox while resting off your fatigue, and running or jogging in one place overnight to gain stats. If you are having issues, try adjusting these settings if they apply to you. If you have any questions, feel free to ask me in the comments below.